Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another standard 2021 deck and we're looking at a blue-red Turbo Tutelage deck that centers around Teferi's Tutelage, a 3-mana uncommon enchantment, saying that when the Tutelage enters the battlefield we get to draw a card and then discard a card. And whenever we draw a card, target opponent mills two cards, so we're going to try and win the game by milling someone out with a Teferi's Tutelage, and we can do so pretty quickly as soon as we get the Tutelage in play, since we have so many card draw effects, especially if we get multiple copies of Tutelage in play, or if we combine Tutelage with Teferi's Ageless Insight, a 4-mana legendary enchantment, saying if we would draw a card, except the first one we draw in each of our draw steps, we get to draw two cards instead. So this essentially doubles up all the card draw effects in the deck, making it very easy to mill someone out with a Teferi's Tutelage. The deck is also quite affordable, since the only rares in the deck are the Insight, 4 copies of Storm's Wrath and 4 copies of Temple of Epiphany, so it's not the most difficult deck to put together. There are a few issues with trying to win the game by milling someone out. If you're playing against a cycling deck, you do power up the opposing Zenith Flares, which can just kill you in one hit if there are enough cards in the graveyard, so that's a potential issue. You will also run into opposing Uros that the opponent can easily escape if you put a bunch of cards in their graveyard, so there are definitely a few drawbacks associated with milling, and we are also relying pretty heavily on enchantments, so if people are starting to main deck answers to opposing Lucky Clovers, those can sometimes also answer our enchantments, so that's also going to be bad for us. But overall the deck is pretty fun to play, so let's dive right into it here, starting out with our 1-drops, where we have the full playset of Opt as a cheap cantrip. We also have two copies of Stern Dismissal that can bounce opposing creatures or enchantments. Can be a nice answer to larger creatures that some of our red burn spells can deal with, just to buy us enough time to win the game with Tutelage. Then we have the full playset of Shock as a cheap burn spell. At 2 mana we've got the full playset of Frantic Inventory, and one of my favorite plays in this deck is to discard the first copy of Frantic Inventory to one of the many discard effects in the deck. That way when we cast a second inventory we get to draw two cards right away, and all future inventories will be even better. Then we also have the full playset of Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. We've got plenty of cheap instants and sorceries ending up in the graveyard, which are all powering up the Blitz, which can then take down larger creatures, also exiling them, so that can also be relevant. And then we've got the full playset of Cathartic Reunion, as an additional cost we have to discard two cards and then draw three, and Thrill as an additional cost we have to discard one card and then draw two. So these are all ways to enable the tutelage, dig towards the tutelage if we don't have it already, and we can discard cards like Inventory or some of the burn spells in matchups where they're not all that useful. And then at 3 mana, of course, we've got the full playset of Teferi's Tutelage, a card we want to draw every time. And two copies of Thirst for Meaning lets us draw 3 cards at instant speed. And then we have to discard 2 cards unless we discard an enchantment card. So sometimes we can get rid of the second copy of Ageless Insight. Or in some aggressive matchups we don't have time to deploy the Insight and we can just discard it to the Thirst. So we only have to discard the one card. And then we've got two copies of Ageless Insight, very powerful if we can land it and then combine it with other card draw effects, but it is a 4 mana do nothing enchantment the first turn that we play it, so we often won't have time to deploy it in the more aggressive matchups. And then the full playset of Storm's Wrath as our sweeper of choice to deal 4 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. That's also the reason why we're not playing the 4 mana Teferi ourselves, since it would also potentially die to Storm's Wrath, but that's also a potential card you can consider in the deck. And then the mana base, only 22 lands, because we do have so many cheap card draw effects. 8 islands, 8 mountains, 2 copies of Swiftwater Cliffs, which gains 1 life and enters tapped. And the full playset of Temple of Epiphany, which lets us scry 1 when it enters the battlefield tapped. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, with a reasonable hand, a nice mix of card draw and interaction. Although no tutelage just yet. Don't need another thrill. So Teferi's Ageless Insight and Tutelage are the two cards we want to draw the most. Against the uh, Indatha Triome, I don't think Shock is going to be super necessary, so I can probably discard it to the Thrill. But we'll see what they play. Temple. This could be the Sanctum deck that just plays all the Sanctums. Let's play another temple for now. Bottom the blitz, and then we can thrill again, probably discarding one of my removal spells. Alright, it's gonna be a harbinger instead, so never mind. 
So maybe black, green, mid range here. So let's thrill. I'm still tempted to discard one of the removal spells, but maybe I should keep both and just discard a thirst here. Alright, there's the tutelage and another inventory, nice. So how about this turn we just kill the Harbinger and play the first inventory. I'll just do it now. And then we can inventory end of turn. And then next turn maybe go tutelage plus inventory draw two. A Mire Triton. It's gonna help us with our mill plan. All right, so they are definitely playing abs on here, all three colors. And I'll get rid of an islands. All right, we are definitely powering up the opponent's fiend artisans by milling them, so there is a drawback. So we'll wait until end of turn to play the inventory. Take two. And Lurus also definitely benefits from our tutelage. So I wonder if I should just take my draw step and hope to Storm's Wrath Artisan. Hoping not to mill two more creatures. Yeah, I think uh, I don't want to cast inventory end of turn. Alright, only milled one creature, so still get to kill everything with the Storm's Wrath. And then we get to inventory end of turn. And Blitz can maybe take care of the next Fiend Artisan. 7-7. Seven, seven. So I guess we'll blitz end of turn then. Ooh, scavenging ooze, that could be bad. Well, I guess I need to blitz the artisan now before the ooze gets to exile one of my non-creature spells. And ooze can grow up to a 3-3. Three, three. It's gonna get rid of my inventory instead, that also works. And that does make my inventory a lot worse. So I guess we'll just reunion then. Hope to draw an answer for the ooze. In the meantime, our opponent's halfway through their library. Oof, three lines, that's rough. On the bright side, my opponent doesn't have a ton of green sources in play, just the two green sources, so they won't be able to use all their mana on the Scavenging Ooze, but uh, even three activations per turn here is going to be a problem. Definitely want to keep at least two cards in hand that I can discard if I draw another Cathartic Reunion. And wow, a Mythos of Nethroi, getting rid of my enchantments too here. Alright, this is going to be rough. Gotta draw another action spell here. The ooze probably gets rid of my other inventory. Alright, that's a nice set of draws. So what do I play first? Probably the inside, because I want to draw two with the tutelage. And I'll keep land in hand to discard to the tutelage's ability. Opponent has 26 cards in library, so still a long way to go. And the ooze is probably going to start eating creatures soon. Nope, gets rid of the blitz. I guess they just want to keep as many creatures in graveyard for their Lurus and Fiend Artisan. They might also be playing the mutate creature that gets a whole bunch of cards back from the graveyard, who knows. Time for tutelage. Gets to draw two cards now. 
And there's a blitz, so that's good. I might actually want to get rid of the Harbinger instead of the Scavenging Goose at this point. Just to prevent my opponent from getting any additional card advantage. Also, I guess I can kill the Harbinger with the Storm's Wrath and the Ooze might uh, grow a buff for toughness. Alright, so we'll just Blitz the Ooze now then. Still definitely enough cards in Graveyard to kill the Ooze. We'll play the Cliffs and then hope to draw some more card draw effects next turn. Opponent really doesn't want us drawing more than one card with our inventories. So now 17 cards left. We have 27, so... Let's see what the Harbinger can reveal. Alright, another Fiend Artisan. That is potentially a problem. 15-15. Make that 16-16. but we may be able to just win the game right now. So we'll play another tutelage. It's gonna draw a bunch more cards. And dismissal is also a decent answer for an artisan. Opponent has five cards remaining, so we can Storm's Wrath. Plus Dismissal. Next turn we will draw for our draw step and mill the opponent for another four cards. And then they should be dead on their following draw step even if we don't find another answer for Artisan. Four cards remaining. They will mill for four. GG's, definitely a close one. Fiend Artisan, another scary card when playing a mill deck. And there we go. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, and this hand has a lot of potential. Of course, we're missing blue mana, but we do have Shock and Blitz we can play in the meantime. And then the first blue source lets me play Tutelage, which maybe helps me find a second blue source for Insight, so... I'll keep. And that's a nice draw. Bottom another mountain, just need a second blue source. Facing a Jeskai Triome, could be a control deck. It's gonna be a Sprite Dragon. Definitely a creature we want to answer as soon as possible. So I'll probably just uh, shock it right now. Don't want my opponent to untap and then be able to put two plus one plus one counters on it. And next turn we get to play Teferi's Tutelage, followed by Ageless Insight, so... Yeah, I think I'll let the Sprite Dragon stay in play for a turn, because the Tutelage can also help me put additional non-creature spells in the graveyard to power up the Blitz, so we can still potentially kill the Sprite Dragon. Although there's definitely some risk involved here. Storm's Wrath should also be good. Hmm. I mean, Dismissal is a way of resetting the Sprite Dragon if it does get out of hand. Maybe I get rid of the Thirst, even though it's a nice effect alongside Tulich and Insight. Not sure here. You can make a reasonable case for any of these cards. Let's get rid of Dismissal here. And then if they play another small creature, we can punish them with the Storm's Wrath. I see. Whirlwind of Thoughts. So whenever they cast a non-creature spell, they get to draw a card. Seeing plenty of adventure creatures as well. So, once again, we've got options. 
If they're playing Whirlwind, they're definitely going to be playing quite a few cheap cantrip type cards, which can get the Sprite Dragon out of range of my Storm's Wrath. But I really want to play this Insight. And then next turn I can maybe Thirst plus Blitz. So I'll take my turn off to play my 4 mana enchantment. Hope they don't have a Brazen Borrower to bounce it, because that would be pretty painful. It's going to be Riddle Form. Make a 3-3 Sprite Dragon. So we both have some expensive card draw engine enchantments in play now. 4-4 four, four Sprite Dragon still dies to the Storm's Wrath. Alright, we've got options. Could also Thirst and then discard two Instants and Sorceries so the Blitz can still kill the Sprite Dragon. I kind of prefer that because I want to discard Inventory to the Thirst anyway. And we get to draw so many cards. So we'll discard Inventory and... I guess Storm's Wrath maybe? Mill the opponent for a million. I suppose I could have also discarded a land since, uh, of course, Thirst going to the graveyard is an extra non creature spell. Kill the Sprite Dragon now. Opponent has 28 cards remaining. Hopefully, the inventory can chain us into more card draw. And we've got plenty of ways to discard these additional lands, so it's fine that we kept them in hand since Cathartic Reunion and Thrill or additional tutelages can still get rid of them. And not a riddle form. Riddle form can definitely be tricky to answer since we need instant speed removal for it. Stomp from Bone Crusher. So we're down to five. Could easily get killed by some more burn spells. There's a thrill. Opponent's got 24 cards left, so inventory is gonna draw four cards here. So that's gonna mill for eight. This also mills for eight. 16. So if I can find another like inventory or thrill type effect, we could just win the game right now. So we'll start with the inventory. And yeah, I think drawing another Thrill does it. Unless my math is off. Sixteen cards remaining. So we'll Thrill, discard lands. Mill for eight. Now my opponent does still get their upkeep step to potentially fire off some burn spells. So if they have... Five points of burn, they can play in their upkeep, we still die. But uh, hopefully that's not the case. Alright, so we managed to mill our opponent out pretty quickly, with a bit of help from the Whirlwind of Thought. GG's. Gotta discard to hand size a bunch. And our opponent explodes. If they don't put an upkeep stop, then they just explode right away. But sometimes you can still lose in the opponent's upkeep. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. I don't really have any interaction, just card draw. But the card draw can usually find some interaction, so I'll try it. And then Thrill can discard inventory to set up future inventories. And do I want to shock? Yeah, why not? Maybe next turn I'll shock the goose and play a tapped temple. Scavenging ooze. Alright, guess we're shocking that instead. And hope they don't have a second copy, although maybe Blitz can get rid of it. Kinda depends if they can exile some stuff from my graveyard first. And then probably don't need another thrill right now.
All right. Probably just pass a turn, and then end of turn I can thrill discarding inventory plus opts. Or I could thrill now in the hopes of finding a shock. We'll wait. Maybe our opponent plays around a counter spell here. And our opponent passes. And then I'm mostly looking for Teferi's Tutelage. I'm not gonna say no to an inventory when we have a couple in the graveyard already. Do I shock the goose? Sure. If our opponent didn't do anything last turn, then killing the goose probably means they won't do anything in this next turn either. Although the castle might change that. And yeah, some large green creatures could be difficult for us to deal with. Blitz can maybe still answer one of them. And then I could main phase inventory. Although if I draw tutelage, would I play it right away? Maybe. Although I kind of like the situation where my opponent does nothing, maybe fearing a counter spell. So I think I'll just pass it back and I can always play some other instance end of turn. Once again doing nothing. They might be holding a bunch of Ugins in hand, I guess. And then Thrill can discard... Probably Mountain over Temple. Still no Tutelage. Could Scry first with the Temple. I can probably get rid of the Shock at this point. So let's play the Temple first. Bottom the Mountain. And then a Reunion. Discarding Shock and Mountain. There's the insights, that's good. So I will have to discard a card to hand size end of turn here. Maybe it's just the uh, Storm's Wrath. I've got Blitz for 10, so that can even take care of an Ugin here. Because I want to keep the card draw, so I want to keep the reunion to go with the insight. And then we're already halfway through our deck, opponent plays a Gem Racer. So that's a card that could have blown up our Teferi Stulich, so I'm glad it's in play now. And then I could blitz to kill it. I guess that's fine. And we even have a backup insights. Second so discard the second insight to the thirst maybe if they don't destroy the first one. Goose they might mutate another gem raiser onto the goose here, but then we can potentially blitz in response. Yep. I guess dismissal also works. They will get to keep the gem raiser in play, but they won't get the mutate trigger. I think I want to hang on to the blitz. So let's just dismissal. And hope they don't have any additional mutate creatures in hand. All right, there's a tutelage, finally. And our opponent concedes. All right, well, we were gonna mill them pretty quickly here with tutelage and insight and then reunion and thirst could draw a ton of cards onto the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Hands pretty bad, no second lands, no red mana. So we'll mulligan, this is better. And what do I keep? 
keeping a reunion can be kind of tricky when you are on a mulligan to six. Although I do have inventory that I don't mind discarding. So maybe I get rid of the opts. And then keep Storm's Wrath for interaction in case we're up against an aggressive deck. And then next turn I can reunion, discarding inventory. Opponent on Mono White Life Gain with Hallowed Priest, one of the arena exclusives. So this could uh, replace a Janice Pride Mate in the Life Gain decks. Well, let's stick to the plan here. Reunion, discarding inventory. And then it's either Thirst or Cliffs here, I think. Let's ditch the Cliffs and hope to draw more lands. Alright, that's good. And Linden is going to grow the Priest right away. Alright, so unless the opponent can gain life some other way, we will still be able to kill both creatures with the Storm's Wrath. So that's the hope, and I guess turn this missile can always come in handy. So we'll just play Islands and pass. And hope they play another creature that dies to the Wrath. Take seven. And Archon of Sun's Grace, perfect. So we'll get a nice three for one here. And we're just digging for our Teferi's Tutelage. And Inside is also a good one. We are down to 11, so we can be too comfortable here. Another Priest, and make that two. So I don't hate casting another Wrath before those get too big. Or I can try and take a turn off with the Inside and still keep up Dismissal. It's a little greedy, but sure, who doesn't like drawing additional cards? Light of Hope to destroy target enchantments. Ouch. Well, I can bounce my own enchantments. It's only enchantment and opponent controls, so that works. Take two. And an Alsaid. So they can use Alsaid to give their priest protection from red, so it doesn't die to the Storm's Wrath. I mean, I guess it's fine. Still Storm's Wrath, and then we'll have Stern Dismissal to bounce whatever's left. Sir so Point's got one creature. Maybe should have kept a land in hand to discard to the Thirst. Another Archon could be problematic. For now, I'll probably just bounce it to buy myself a bit of time. Try and find a Blitz or another Storm's Wrath. Let's Thirst main phase. And I guess I'll uh, tap another Island. Alright, those are some good draws. What do I discard? Probably Land and Dismissal. And then I can shock the priests. Maybe I should do so now. And then I can end of turn inventory, untap, blitz the Archon. But I could have potentially blitzed the Archon if they played a one man enchantment here. There's a Tutelage. Alright, so we're not in a bad spot now. And we'll discard probably just a land. Or maybe a thrill since we've got so many. Start milling the opponents. I'll just kill the Archon now. And play the lands. Because we'll be able to draw additional cards with the inventory. 
to then have enough stuff in hand to discard to the reunion of thrill. Although banishing light does get rid of my tutelage, sadly. All right, we'll have to find another one. Still three left in the deck. So what's next? Thirst, maybe? Can still thirst and then play tutelage if we draw it. Just play Temple. Bottom the Shock. And then I'll end of turn Thrill. Alright, opponent's starting to draw some lands. So Thrill can discard probably just a Mountain. Alright, let's go digging. I have to be careful that I don't end up decking before my opponent if I don't find a Tutelage in time. Discard Mountain Shock. Still nothing. Yeah, I mean, if Tutelage is at the bottom, it's gonna be difficult to win. I'll play Insights. And play Opt. Alright, double Tutelage. Now with double Tutelage, we might still be able to get there. But he's got 41 cards left. Heliot doesn't do much by himself. So we're gonna draw two. And mill the opponent for eight. Twenty-nine cards left versus twelve. So for each card I draw, the opponent mills four. So we still should get there. So let's thrill discarding Wrath, I guess. Just doing it now, in case my opponent top decks another instant speeds removal spell for my tutelage. And discard some cards to hand size. I guess I can just shock their face. So we've got 8 cards remaining, opponent has 12 cards remaining. I guess they do get to turn Heliod into a creature here if they escape the Sentinel's eyes. But we're at 9 life, so we're still safe. Alright, now I have to be a little bit careful with which card draw spells I play. I've got seven cards remaining, so I guess we'll start with an opt. And that should just win us the game. Mill the opponent for eight, and they will be dead on their draw step. Alright, ended up being pretty close here. Opponent had some nice answers for my enchantments. And it took a while to find the last tutelage. But there we go, sweet. We definitely had a lot of close games today, so it just goes to show how thin the margins can be when playing the tutelage deck. So one miss sequence can sometimes cost you the game. But the deck is definitely a lot of fun to play and it's not too expensive to put together, so if you already have all the rares, then you can take the deck for a spin. So that's gonna do it for today's gameplay, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.